All right, so this one's pretty sweet. Chainable options. I don't like this kind of stuff because I'm like a functional programming nerd, uh, but there's lots of libraries that work this way. I, Commander is what, can you think of? Oh man, there's a ton of JavaScript libraries that have this sort of API. So basically what we're gonna look at here is, it's a little more specific, but you declare this config, which is chainable, and you can say option foo and give it a value, option name and give it a value, option bar and give it a value. And then when you call dot get, you expect the, the result to be this thing. Um, so it seems super crazy. I don't think the solution is that intense, but we have our test cases up here. Um, I started you off with a, the, the challenges do this too, with like a kind of um, an example here. I will say I've kind of prepared like a, usually with these challenges with a co-host, like John is co-hosting, we like to let people, or I like to let people kind of struggle for a little bit. But if you want, I would be happy to show you step by step how to get to the answer and you can kind of comment along the way, or you can try to suffer if you like that. We can give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, cool. Um, I think this is somewhere along the lines of, of I don't know what you would say, uh, maybe session type, something like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to carry some information along every time we return the uh, object again. So I assume we're going to need some parameter to chainable in order to do that. Yep. And options going to need to return chainable or at least something that extends chainable, if not chainable. Um, so I'm going to say that it needs to return chainable, but we're going to need to pass something in and I'm not quite sure what that is yet, but I think it might need to be an object. So basically what I'm thinking is, um, we need to essentially take what we already have for T maybe, and, uh, perhaps we can add key to value as a, a, a pair here. Mm -hmm. Um, let's sort see. of, yeah. Well, I, are you trying to make this, uh, wrong. are you trying to like spread that in? We would have yeah. to, how would we do that? Um, is that the right syntax? Uh, maybe I need to do it at the end. Um, you can't spread, can, unfortunately, uh, this is like something I wish that they would implement. There's a, there's a ticket in TypeScript for this for okay. allowing like spread types and objects. You have to do like a... Yeah, we'll do a union. I think some, yeah, work. some kind of thing like that. Okay. Okay. All right, great. So we have that. Um, what's the problem with this? Value refers to a value, but is being used as type. Do I need to use type of value, perhaps? Um, okay. And now it looks like what we're expecting to get when we do get is actually an object that returns something like T. Uh, mm -hmm. So that, that's probably close to what I need. Yep, that's correct. So let's take a look here. So let's see what the errors are now. Um, so if we look at what A1 returns, what is that? It's still any? Um, yeah, I think, uh, how could we do, let's let's do, actually, let's un amend this a little bit. Um, YB A1, like that, so that we can look at it more closely, I think. Yeah, I think any, part of the yeah. problem is I added a type parameter, but that's not in the directives here. So I, I think I might need to do something to set a default value for it. Yeah, definitely. There. Okay, so we got we got a, a little bit further along. So our type now, the problem with our type now is that the type of key is any, and also um, probably people are already screaming at the monitor because I messed up the syntax. Uh, I need to use... A different syntax for this. Um, what if we you know, could we take a could we take a breather from this though and, and look at the generics for option? Sure. So I'll start you off with like a, we'll need like a K and a, and a V, right? And K is going to it, like V is going to be this, which is nice because then we can we can slot that in here. And then as for K, one of the things that we'll see is that. Um, like we don't want, we, we kind of want to hand there's this case here for a three where we pass it a string and then we pass it a number. Do you see what I mean? Um, yeah. but the final thing is, is number for name. So name gets a string value and then we do name again and it gets a number value. And when we call get, it's actually like the, the most recent thing. Uh, so we should omit oh, omit the uh, yes. existing. Okay, exactly. That makes sense. Also, uh, k should be extend string. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, it, we could use just to be uh, 
to be bros about it, we could use property key. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, sure. Um, um, this was in the last lesson we were just talking about, but property key is just a union of string and number and symbol, and it corresponds to the valid types for um, TypeScript or, or for JavaScript keys. This is this is close. You have it. It's the it's the it's the uh, other way around. But yeah. Ah, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. always is that way. Okay, so now we need to figure out how to make it take key. Um, I was trying to use the computed syntax, but I don't think that we can works. use. So yeah, the the way to get around this is to use record. Um, like that. Great. But I think this okay. is, uh, maybe you can explain this to me. Um, in order for this to work, um, I'm kind of skipping ahead here, but in order for this to work, it needs to be and. We're not actually done uh, yet. That makes sense. That makes sense, I think. Can yeah, you actually. tell me why it makes sense? Because I don't actually understand why it makes sense. I'm not 100% sure, but I think a union type definitely doesn't make sense in that case. Because mm -hmm, then it would be um, multiple things. Yeah, exactly. It could be any of those, not all of them together. So it kind of does make sense. In it. But I'm not sure why specifically it's the uh, it's at the intersection operator. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's just the way record behaves with intersection. Interesting. Well, the last thing we have to do is fix this error. So we talked about A3 probably out of order because if you give it a different value here, then it's okay with that. Like we gave it a number the second time. But if you give it a string twice, then it expects an error. So we have to put some kind of constraint on K in here. Interesting. And so we have this, this T thing that we're building up every time where it's kind of like accumulating all of the, the stuff. So we can just check it here by saying like um, extends key of T and then um, that's the true branch and that's and here's the false branch. Um, I mean, in the false branch, right, this part is easy enough, I suppose if it's if it's not already there, then that's fine. We can just we can just use it. But where we need to go next is this one. We need to kind of like, is it exclude extract? I don't know. Um, um, so we want to check to see if it's the if we want to we want to check to see if k matches uh, t k. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Let's see if v uh, matches t k. Oh, if v matches t k. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. So that's another. Mm -hmm. Do true never or I'm sorry k never and then k. Right. If it does match, it's it's just you almost there. It's the other way around. If it does match, then ah, we, yeah, we want to exclude it. Otherwise, we want to return k. Um, and if we do this this way, then we're gonna we're gonna skip over those values, and you'll get an error here, as expected. Um, cool. I looked around online for other solutions to this one, and I didn't really see any. If, please, someone comment below if you have another like completely different way to solve this. There were variations always on like how to write the syntax, and like this part has variations because you can expand omit can be expanded out. It's just a pick with exclude, so you can expand out pick, you can expand out exclude, but you know like ultimately they're functionally the same. This seems to be the kind of the way to do it. There's a bit of an API quirk with how this one works, how it doesn't, it, you know, this A2 error here that happens for the second case. But um, that makes it pretty restrained, I think. But yeah, any other thoughts? Yeah, it's kind of a strange API that it allows conflicting types, but hey. But, but only if you change the value. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's interesting. Yeah, cool. All right, let's keep going.